Okay, so I'm going to teach you guys how to build this cool little way to save coins. It has four different slots for pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. Let's get started. Alright, so to start out building this project, I've got a bunch of these scraps left over from a deck that I built over the summer. Uh, really haven't had a use for them until now. So the first step is going to be we want to clean these up. I'm going to send them to the planer, and then we'll clean the edges up on the table saw. After we plane the boards, what we want to do next is rip them so we can get the most out of this wood. Uh, so I have my ripping blade set up on the bandsaw with a fence, and then we'll just rip these in half. face is nice and flat, we want to clean up these edges, make them parallel to the faces. We're going to do that on the table saw. Um, you'd want to use a joiner if you had one, I don't have one, so we're just going to clean up these edges the best we can and make them as square as we can get them on the table saw. Okay, now that everything's squared down, we have our stock ready to go, I'm going to start laying out the lines for where I want the compartments to be for all of our coins. Um, first I started by just taking one of our sides and putting it here, making it flush to the end of our piece and making a line. I did that on both sides so then we know how much room we have in the middle here for our coins to go. And then what I did is I just measured three inches over and made a mark and then I put this board back off that mark and I made another mark on the side of that. So now we have where our side pieces are going to go. I did that on each of the first three compartments were our pennies, nickels, and dimes, and then I figured since the quarters are much larger, I gave that more room on this side here. So these are three, and that's about four and a half, close to five inches of room. So we'll cut our sides, they're going to be six inches tall, and then we'll uh, get them on there. After making one side square at the miter box, to ensure all our pieces are the same length, I'm just going to cross cut them on a table saw at 8 inches. Okay, now that we have all our side pieces cut and ready to install, before we do that, I'm going to cut grooves on the insides so I can slide this clear plexiglass on the inside so that we can see when our containers get full of coins. Um, I'm using plexiglass instead of regular glass because I'm not sure, I just don't want the coins to go in there and get full and crack the glass and then our project's pretty much shot. So this stuff's a little bit more expensive than glass, um, but I just cut a test piece on the table saw. They give you this plastic cutting knife thing like a razor blade. But I figured before I try that, let me see if I could do it the easy way and cut it on the table saw. And it seemed to work pretty good. Um, it's not chipping a lot. I ran it pretty slow and I'm using a 40 tooth blade. Um, I read some stuff on the internet that says if you use a fine tooth blade, this stuff can cut pretty good. Um, and it seemed to work uh, alright. So we'll cut that out at the table saw and we'll cut our grooves.
Okay, a couple things so far. We got our sides put up, the acrylics cut, and the grooves are in. Uh, came out pretty good. Uh, what I decided to do on the bottom piece was cut these dados. I did it on the radial arm saw. Uh, these pieces, they actually started cupping pretty quickly after I resawed them and planed them down. Uh, after I, I can't run that through my planer, it's too short. So I decided to use these dado grooves and then I'll give this some support. Um, so we'll just cut those on the radial arm saw. I'll show you how to do it. Also after the dry assembly I noticed that I forgot to cut a groove in this bottom section to accept the plexiglass so we'll go do that now. Now with all the pieces going together and the dry fit successful I'm going to assemble this by using countersunk screws on the bottom and then we'll slide our panels in and we'll work on the top. Okay, now that everything's fit into place, we got the acrylic cut down and the plexiglass. Everything's seated. We're all secure. I got the top piece cut out. That just slides right over top here. Goes into the groove. And then I'm just going to tack that down with some brad nails. Okay, so after everything's installed, I always seem to forget to pre-finish these things before I put any glass or plexiglass in. So I just taped it off with blue painter's tape. I'm going to sand everything up to about 320, and then I'm going to spray it with this green color here. See how it turns out. back I'm just going to use a piece of quarter inch plywood and that's going to be easy to uh, take off and on. make the holes in the top where the coins are going to drop down, I'm just using a one inch Forstner bit. That way all the coins will be able to fit. And there we go. A New Year's project that will hopefully get everybody saving a little bit of money. And thanks for watching.